here at a company called Fresh at Thames near Tampere in Finland. It is rather chilly at the moment. Now this company started back in 1918. Fast forward to 1999 when they got their first CNC and now here 2022 and they have a fantastic FMS system from Fast Thames. Let's go inside and get the story. Fast Thames Flexible Management System. Fresh Thames Flexible Rescue Systems. Yes, they are very similar and they are meant to be because Ari and the team wanted to model themselves on the same beliefs of the Fast Thames brand, where automation is the key driver for this business's success. Ari, interesting product. What is it? This is a stretcher loading system for civilian main stretcher, Pensi stretcher, uh, manufactured in Finnish company Pensi Rescue. And we are developing, uh, developed this product for, for Pensi. So this product is critical, it's saving lives, so it's got to be done correctly and developed all the time. How many components is it made of? Uh, over 100 uh, components, but uh, mill parts, I think there is uh, about 50. So a lot of machine parts, but you're always looking to develop and improve this product. Yes, uh, always. Now, now it's developed to this stage and for automated machining. Right. So you're looking in terms of the automated machining because you've got a fast M system and we're going to cover that off in a minute. So how are you making it before you got fast M's involved? With ordinary CNC machines, vertical milling machines, um, and only day daytime work, so not so not very efficient, really. Uh, no, not very. Oh, okay, yeah. but demand has increased, and the product is improving all the time. Mm. So you need to improve efficiency and impr improve output. That's true. Oh. Yeah, and you engage with fast ends. Yeah. Yes, we we have been engaged uh, quite many years now, and. We are very happy of cooperation with Fastems. Why did you use, why did you choose Fastems? They had um, great products for our production um, pallet container system. What we have uh, in uh, horizontal milling milling machine uh, serving serving that, and our horizontal milling machine is coming next week for for that system. And uh, also we have lots of uh, different programs supporting us so we can can have very good control also in in managing side uh, how how things are going forward okay so you've known fast for a long time they give you that flexibility i think it's time we found out about the system you've actually had installed Ari and the team are well educated on FMS systems. He didn't just want to push the machine to its limits. His priority was to think about the production plan. And of course, that works because the machines are running at over 90% efficiency. That's not only great for the business, but also the staff members because they're not doing those mundane, repetitive jobs. In fact, those staff members are trying to work on improving the production plan itself. Phil, as Ari alluded, he needed automation, efficiency, flexibility. He knows you guys from Fast Thames, so what have you installed for him? Yeah, so we've installed for him what we call an FPC, which is the flexible pallet container. Flexible pallet containers come in three different sections, and it's completely modular. So it's completely up to the customer and the customer's requirements if they need one unit, two units, or three units. In this case, we've installed two units, two load stations, and the possibility of having two machines. So at the moment, today, as we stand here, there's only one machine installed in the system, but later on he's going to buy a second do stand because he's been really happy with the machine's performance. It's already on its way, I understand. Exactly, it is, and we'll install it and integrate it into the system, which is already prepped for it, so it's almost a plug-and-play job for it to be commissioned. Okay, now they've got a doosin in the background, which is a twin pallet machine, so th it this is. is taking from twin pallet to 24. Exactly, so it's adding 24 pallets to the machine. So what that means for the customer is they can have all of the pallets already set up with their fixtures, everything's already clocked in, everything's already ready, and everything's already pre-programmed and ready to run. So whenever the batches come in and they need to be run, they can run them one at a time, 
reducing the setup time because it's taking all the setup time away from the machine loading. So setup time now doesn't include in spindle availability. So the spindle availability is never affected by the setup time. This means that they can dramatically reduce their batches to very low batches and still run economically. You guys, as we can see in the background, as we know, 8760 is your sort of mantra, but that's not what these guys needed as such. Not exactly. So they needed to have 100% availability of the machine but that doesn't mean that they need to use or run the machine at 100% of the time. They run the machine as and when they need the parts loading, when they need the parts for production, they then call up on that availability. Just because we give the customers the availability of 100% doesn't mean they will actually achieve that in their utilization. That's completely up to them how and when they want to use it. With this system, then they've got 24 pallets. It's all about flexibility. I'm thinking one tombstone, one pallet, one component, but that's not the case. It's not the case because they have more components than they have pallets and fixtures, and they don't want to be having to set up different pallets at the same time. Although they have a zero point clamping system on their pallets so that they can swap pallets and fixtures in and out quite easily, it's still a lot of setup time for them to do that. So for them, it runs more efficiently if they have the pallets set up to run multiple different jobs on the same pallet, and they can then choose when they run those jobs. So one pallet can run 30 different jobs when in they need it to be run. And all that is controlled by MMS. So MMS is the manufacturing management software that we offer as standard on all of our solutions. And it doesn't matter if you have a robot system or a pallet system, it will all run from the same software, the same database, give you the same amount of data output from the machines. And what it also does is it manages all of the production for you. So all you need to give the software is the production details of what needs to be run, how many you need running, and by when do you need them made, and the system will calculate all of the availability and when those parts are likely to be made by and whether you will achieve those dates or not. Making it sound pretty simple. Uh, I mean, these guys are lucky in terms of their manufacturing products, well, the manufacturing components is their own product, so they can control the schedules. What happens if I'm just making parts and I've got a customer shouting down the phone at me, I need to make these parts straight away. Is it easy with the MMS system to juggle things around? It is, so we've really designed the MMS system to be suitable for anyone in production. OEMs, people that make their own parts, that design their own parts, but also subcontract shops, which don't have that availability, aren't able to make their decisions on what make, gets made when. So for those kind of customers, there's an express function so that they can prioritize their pallet or prioritize their order to be the most important. And no matter what else is running on the system, it will run that pallet first. Okay, you've got a lot of, pro a lot of components here. All right, it's light material because they're just working aluminium. What happens if a tool breaks though? Right, so if a tool breaks, the system can read what tools are in the machine. So that means that the system is able to see if the tools are available in the machine or not. So if a tool is broken, the pallet will automatically be dumped out by the machine, go back to the rack, the next pallet, will go into the machine. But before it goes into the machine, the system analyzes whether that pallet is able to run or not. So the system will look at all the tool life availability inside the machine. And if the availability is not there, then it will reschedule another job which isn't using those tools that aren't available. If you then have two machines, this is where MMS becomes really useful because it will then automatically reschedule all your jobs around the machines that have the tool life available to run those jobs. There you go, so an intuitive system working with the subcontract engineers or people making their own products. Exactly. Phil, great overview of the system you've installed here, the FPC with MMS, and that's at Freshems. Let's see what Ari thinks so. Ari, you've had this system in place about two years? That's true, yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, very much. These have been great improvement. But the actual installation and getting the system right, were FastSims helpful and was it, was it simple to do? In, in my opinion, yes, we have two uh, education day and that was enough and, and FastSims have online support. Mm. But if any, anything questions, we can ask immediately and get, get help. And the actual integration with this system with the machine behind me, that was very simple? Uh, yeah, my, my point of view, it, it was. <laughs> So it's been so straightforward and successful, you've got another machine on order. Yeah, it's coming next week, oh. actually. Maybe we get to come back and visit you again and see yeah. how it's going. Yeah, well, come. Okay, so you're doing you know, over 300 components, I think. How has this changed the way you manufacture these? I would say quite radically. So uh, now we are machining uh, weekends and night times uh, before only daytimes. And 
but but have been a great improvement. Okay, and as we've mentioned, about 300 different products. What about the actual quality of the product and the zero point systems as well, and the accuracy, has that improved? That is proving and, and also time to react uh, orders, but uh, that's most important thing, that we okay. can fast get uh, all parts done for one product. That okay. is great improvement. So great improvement. So this system is giving you, a, as, as you'd expect with fast systems, and it's key to what they say, it's a lot about flexibility. Yeah, that's, I think, key word, flexibility. Yeah. In, in Also in, in fast systems and fresh systems. Yeah. And also you work closely with them, so you're giving feedback and helping them develop their products as well. Yeah, nowadays that happens also, but, but we are quite close cooperation with, with Fastums. Okay, and with that close cooperation, you've got another machine coming, but where to in the future? Other systems, different systems? Uh, yeah, we are adding a robot, robot loading cell uh, to, to system, and but actually that idea came from us to Fastums, but that uh, is needed to get more flexibility uh, to system, so uh, and and they decide to create one, and now we are waiting for when it's ready. The relationship between the companies is so strong. In fact, when Fresh Thames went to Fast Thames with a product, it was bespoke. That is now a standard product. So it really shows how Fast Thames are listening to their customers. And that's what makes them a world leader in manufacturing automated solutions.